There are winds of change blowing across the DRC, with the UN pointing to real opportunities to consolidate peace and security in many parts of the country, while the formation of a new government is becoming increasingly urgent. The discussions for the formation of new governments are actually in course. Discussions for the establishment of a new government are currently underway between the Common Front for the Congo, which uh, secured the majority of legislative seats at the national level and provincial level, and the CAP platform for change. They supported the candidature of Mr. Chisekedi. The two parties reached agreement last week on the uh, recent establishment of a uh, in, in individual, a trainer, to who will be the future uh, Prime Minister of the Republic. We cherish the hope that the new government will shortly be established and will be operational and thereby will be able to operate on the basis of the guidelines under Chisikadi's program. Several council members pointed to positive developments on the ground, including the opening of the media space, lifting of restrictions on protests, and political prisoners who've now been released. The voluntary surrender or the expression of intent of hundreds of fighters from armed groups to lay down their weapons as a result of the presidential shift of power was also welcomed. Their quick reintegration into society or the armed forces seen as a critical next step. I think Security Council, which is charged with international peace and security, should accompany this peace process. They should give more oxygen uh, to this development. So far, Princess Gedi has allowed peaceful demonstrations, unhindered access by all parties to their constituencies. And that's why we see this peace wave from the west to the east, or we can call it a peace train from Kinshasa moving all the way passing. And where it passes, you can see stability and rapprochement among the Congolese. Thank you, Mr. President. The United States welcomed the positive developments despite continued concerns of armed groups and cross-border attacks in the East. We are deeply concerned about rising tensions among Burundi, Rwanda, and Uganda, including reports of cross-border attacks. Given the history, these are especially worrisome developments. No one wins from a proxy war in the Great Lakes. The United States urges all parties to refrain from the use of violence and to respect the territorial integrity of all states in the region. Councils expected to renew the mandate of MINUSCO before the end of the month, but it's likely to be limited due to increasing calls for an independent strategic review of the UN operation in the DRC. Sherman Bryceby's SABC News, New York.